So today we're going to be talking about how autoimmune disease develops and how we can stop the progression of autoimmune disease and start reversing some of those antibodies um, that are produced that start attacking the different tissues of the body. Um, first, there are a few things that you have to have in order to acquire an autoimmune disease. One of those things is um, a genetic predisposition. You have to have intestinal permeability, and you have to have a trigger. And these triggers can be anything from food, chemical, or pathogen. For food, your providers are typically recommending that you use some sort of an elimination diet where you get rid of gluten, dairy, soy, um, different um, foods like that, or they'll ask you to do some sort of a food sensitivity panel. Chemicals could be as simple as um, ibuprofen or Tylenol that you're taking, or they might ask you to clean up your um, lifestyle situation, looking at what you're using in your um dishwasher or when you're washing your clothes, some of those different chemicals and cleaning up and going to more of an organic lifestyle. With pathogens here, we're talking about the things that we can't really control. Um, we can't put ourselves in a bubble and we have to eat, we have to drink, and all of those things um, introduce us to different pathogens. And typically what we're talking about here are gram-negative pathogens um, that release um, endotoxins or lipopolysaccharides into our system. These endotoxins and lipopolysaccharides are some of the most potent immune triggers and when we introduce those in the presence of intestinal permeability, this is a big driver for the development of autoimmune disease. So, how does autoimmune disease develop? So we have some sort of a trigger, right? Whether it's food, whether it's a pathogen, or whether it's a chemical, and then we have our intestinal permeability. So these would be the enterocytes of the GI tract. Um, the enterocytes in our GI tract are the barrier for the introduction into our bloodstream. And so over here, we have the lumen of our gut that has our food, it has our pathogens, it has our microbiome, that's where all of our good bacteria resides, and then we have the cells of the gut keeping us from our blood system, right? Um, but we have a lot of stuff going on. We've got a lot of damage in our gut, tons and tons and tons of inflammation. And so things start to get through. And this is where we start to see the development of autoimmune disease. So we have a trigger get through the um, intestinal permeability or the junctions of our gut that are open. Here is where our immune system starts to kick in. So you have a macrophage from your innate immune system come through and gobble up one of these triggers. And let's just call it a virus, right? So we've got a virus and our macrophage in our innate immune system gobbles it up and turns it into an antigen presenting cell. And this antigen presenting cell takes little snippets of this virus or this pathogen and it presents it to the immune system. And these are either damps, oopsies, or they're PAMPs. So DAMPS stands for Damaged Associated Molecular Patterns, and PAMPs stands for Pathogen Associated Molecular Patterns. These patterns are basically little barcodes that our immune system presents to our naive T cells. And we use our pattern recognition receptors to basically scan that barcode and tell us, is this a good guy? Is this a bad guy? Do we need to do anything to it? And so that's when we start seeing our immune system coming into play. We get our B cells and they start making our immunoglobulins. And then those start binding to the viruses and they get them out of our system. Then we also see an increase in our cytotoxic killer cells, our CD4 counts, our CD8 counts, and they start going and they start attacking this as well. So the problem that we see with the development of autoimmune disease is we're not unique from pathogens. We, have, we are all made up of the same um, amino acids and um, proteins. And so 
when we have this constant badgering on our immune system, so this is happening with food, happening with pathogens, it's happening with candida, it's happening with tons of endotoxins and lipopolysaccharides, and we get this constant bombarding and badgering on our immune system that because these barcodes are made of the same amino acid and protein sequences that our specific tissues are made of, we start seeing molecular mimicry happening. And that barcode looks just like my thyroid. And so now I have um, maybe hyperthyroidism or um, Hashimoto's or something like that. So I developed an autoimmune disease because one of these triggers looked just like my thyroid and my cells were not communicating appropriately. So what are some areas that we can help interrupt some of these antecedents and prevent the development of autoimmune disease? Well, definitely lifestyle. We can look at our food, we can look at our chemicals, and we can start cleaning that up. When we're looking at pathogens, we want to look at what we can bind within the lumen. This is something that we can't do from a lifestyle standpoint. Um, you might be working with some of your healthcare providers for um, die-off reactions, like maybe you have a candida overgrowth or maybe you have SIBO. When you kill off all of those pathogens, you're releasing a large amount of triggers into your system. And in the presence of intestinal permeability, you're putting yourself at a high risk for developing an autoimmune disease. You want to get rid of those. You want to go through those protocols with your healthcare practitioners, but you want to make sure that you're binding these endotoxins. And to do that, you can use oral immunoglobulin therapy. When we're looking at how our um, cells are communicating, um, there is a great recommendation. Um, some ingredients you want to look for in a product are N-acetylcysteine, acetyl-L-carnitine, and alpha-lipoic acid. Your healthcare provider can make a great recommendation on a product that ha incorporates therapeutic levels of all three of these. And again, that's what you want. You want therapeutic levels that's going to help sh shuttle free fatty acids into the mitochondria of the cells so that your cells are breathing better and communicating better. And then when you look at the intestinal permeability, um, you want to look at some targeted nutrition. So we can look at ingredients like glutamine is targeted nutrition for those enterocytes. Um, and also you want to give a really good environment for all of this to heal in. So a lot of stuff is happening in here. Make sure you're on a good probiotic. Um, and in addition to that, autoimmunity, autoimmunity is driven by inflammation. You want to make sure that you're controlling that inflammation. Um, tissue damage is driven by inflammation. All of this is driven by inflammation. So also high-dose fish oil or some sort of anti-inflammatory approach will also be very, very helpful as well. And so that is how um, autoimmune disease develops in the human body.